Hello everyone. So the next method which we are going to add inside the HTTP async client is a perform request method. And this method is going to execute different HTTP methods. So this will be similar to the perform request method which we wrote inside the REST API helper but there will be slight change in the signature. So here I will add a static method and the return type of this method is REST response and name is let's say perform request. The argument to this method will be the HTTP method which we want to execute so HTTP URI request method and second one will be, will be SSL context object. So based on this object I will create the async client. Now here I will use try catch block. So first of all I will create the closable HTTP async client client equal to get HTTP async client and the context. After that I will use this client to execute the request. So if I look at the closable HTTP client there is a method called execute which takes the argument of type HTTP URI request which represent that which HTTP method which we want to execute. Now second argument is of type future callback. So future callback is a generic interface and in our case it is taking the type as HTTP response. So the future callback is an interface which monitor the status of the request and inside this interface there are three methods. So here I can use directly like this new future callback and I need to override So this will be the method and here it will be new future callback. So inside this interface I need to override this three method and this particular interface is used to get the status of your request which is being executed by this client. So as you can see here we have three methods completed, failed and cancelled which will be automatically invoked based on the status of your request. So if the request is completed then this particular method will be invoked. Similarly if the request got failed this will be the method which got will which will get invoked and the, if the request is got cancelled this will be the method which will be invoked. But for time being I am going to supply null over here. Now if I, if I look at the return type of the execute method, it is going to return us the future. So future is also a generic interface. In our case, it is expecting the interface with type HTTP response. Okay. So future is also a generic interface, which is in our case taking the type as HTTP response. So here I will create future and supply the type as HTTP response. So this will hold the response for us. And I'm going to initialize this with null. So response equal to client dot execute the method and the for the time being I'm supplying null for the future callback. After that we are going to create the response handler so a string handler equal to new basic HTTP basic response handler. And if I look at the future interface, so in order to get the response, I need to use the get method. So the get method will automatically re return me the type which we have supplied inside this generic interface. So here while I'm returning the model, so return our model which is rest response. If I want to fetch the status, first I need to get the HTTP response using the interface with, with the help of get method. So here I will use response dot get. 
So as you can see here, when I call the get method automatically, it will return us the type of response which contains the response get uh, which we got after executing the method. So I need to use this particular method first. In our previous case, we directly used like this, that is response.getStatedLine. But in case of HTTP async client, you need to first get the type of response and then you need to invoke the method that is get status line dot get status code. Okay. And similarly here also, so handle dot handle response and this will be response dot get. Okay, and after that I'm going to copy this piece of code from our REST API helper where I'm checking for the exception type and based on that I'm returning the model. So again this will be changed to get. And as it is going to throw the checked exception, so I will use the throws keyword along with the method. So now here, let me make it private instead of public. So here I'm going to create one more method which will use the HTTP async client to perform the get request. So let's say the method name is perform get with async. Or let me call it as perform get request async and the return type of this method will be rest response the argument to this method will be the first one is as string uri which will be the url to the endpoint and second will be the map object which will contain the headers so string string and headers So you can use either request builder class to create the get method or you can directly take the help of HTTP get class. So here I will use HTTP get get equal to new HTTP get and this will take the URI. After that I will check for the headers if they are present then I am going to add those headers if header is not equal to null then get dot set headers get custom headers this will take the map object as an argument and after that I am going to call this particular method so here I will use return perform request the HTTP method which is get and currently I will supply null for the SSL context. As we know that this is going to throw us the exception so here I will use the try catch block and I will just throw the runtime exception if any exception is caught. Similarly I am going to add the overload version of this method which will take the URI object as input. So this will be URI and I'm going to remove this piece of code and will change it to a single call that is written and call to this method. And here I'm going to supply the URI object so new URI based on the string URL followed by the headers. And as we know that this is going to throw us the checked exception, so I will put a try catch. And again, a runtime exception here. So now I will use this particular framework method to perform the request. So first let me comment out this piece of code. And I will just take the part where I am creating the headers. And after I will use HTTP async client helper dot perform. Okay, so let me change the uh, public to private for this method also because I don't want to expose this method. 
so here I will use perform get request and the endpoint URL is this one and the headers as we know that this is going to return us the type of rest response response and I'm going to print the response object so I will put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode so as you can see here our script is getting failed and if you look at the console the exception says that request cannot be executed IO reactor status inactive now whenever you use the HTTP async client you need to start that client before executing the request so here before executing executing the request I need to call the start method so here I will use client.start whereas in our previous case in case of rest API helper we don't need to call that start method you can directly call the execute method after creating the client but while dealing with the sync client sorry while dealing with async client you need to call the start method before executing the request now I'm going to run the same request same script again so as you can see here it is getting passed right now so that's all for this video and thanks for watching